Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Kebtech brand, their 2-in-1 6-inch cordless pole saw with a 700 watt brushless motor inside here, which is really impressive. Brushless motors will not spark and they have a really long service life and they run more efficiently. It includes two pieces of 18 volt batteries you can see right there and the charger that you're going to need safety glasses, an extra chain, a strap, a tool kit, and really nice gloves that are actually a larger size, they actually fit my hand perfectly, and the pole in the back one right there, and the saw with a safety guard right here. So this company provides a two-year warranty on the power tool and a full one-year warranty on the charger and the batteries. That's unheard of in this industry. So that's really good. So uh, they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like the product. This is model number DLA-0017, it's all ABS plastic. And the chain actually rotates at a 7.5 meters per second going in that direction. And those batteries each are 18, are 18 volts and they are two amp hours each. Charging time is approximately two hours, and it comes with the charger that has, we're going to show this, but it has uh, the two connections on there so you can charge them uh, individually. And the guide bar is six inches on here. So most people have high branches in their home, and they kind of go on a ladder sometimes, and that's not the safest thing. So by having that pole, you're going to be able to reach higher up and trim your branches much more safely uh, and we're going to show you we're going to be demonstrating this in my yard my wife's going to be cutting some trees and some bushes and we're going to show you how to adjust that bar and how everything connects and everything and most of the other extension bars on the market they're usually too heavy and not really good for long time use so this company went ahead and they designed one that's lighter using aluminum and less plastic and just works out really great and it's actually, the whole system is 5.29 pounds. So this has an upgraded brushless motor as I mentioned at 700 watts and again that's the best technology that's out there that's going to allow you to work with this. And uh, these batteries are also um, compatible with Makita batteries, it's the same mechanical interface that's nice to know if you have a Makita tool, you can use these batteries on there. Now that extension pole that's in the back right there is 3.6 to 5.58 feet adjustable length and uh, it's compatible with this saw, the DLA-0017. Now this comes with an instruction manual, how to use the pole and a nicely written manual. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you about is something that's not in the manual that's really important. Some people are not getting this to work and they were just not understanding something. So let me show you something right off the bat right here. Here is the battery. I'm going to slide this battery in place right like that till you hear a click. Now I go to use the tool. I hit the safety right here and nothing happens. And you think, oh, something's wrong with the battery. Then you charge the battery and still nothing happens. Well, there is a power switch, which is a good safety item. So you hit, touch that button right there. It gives you the status of the incoming battery. So that's the power switch that lets energy go to the chainsaw. And now it comes on perfectly. So that's important. It's not in the manual. And that's how you're going to get this thing to energize to run. So I just want to show a close-up of the strap system on here. And it is padded, which is really nice. We're going to show you where this goes on the pole. And this is the gloves that are included. They're actually a large size and they have silicone beads on them. And I love the orange color on there. Now I'm going to show you some functions of the saw before we uh, show you cutting. So the first thing you want to do is take the battery out for safety. And you'll notice that on the top right here, there is a plastic set screw right here. You go counterclockwise, remove that and you can remove this top plate. 
Now inside you can see the mechanism for the saw. Here's the safety that gets pushed back when you cut a tree or a branch or a log. Now what's really nice about this is there's no adjustments for chain, for chain tension. The tension is controlled by a spring mechanism on here. So I can push in there and there is a spring mechanism that's putting counter force that way to keep the tension adjusted. And that's really smart because as you use this they heat up and over time they wear a little bit, they get a little longer and that spring is going to compensate for that. So the oil is going to be coming in here because there is an oiler function on here. So after you've uh, looked at that, you can put that back and just turn this clockwise and tighten that down like that and you're all set. Now on the other side, it's very important also, this is an oiler connection. And what you do is you go counterclockwise on that and you see right there there's an oiler input. Now you can use various oils on there. I'm going to use what I have. I have some 10W40 oil and I'm going to put that in right here. And what this is going to do is going to self lubricate and the chain. So you see it filled up right there. See it filled up right there. And we're going to turn this clockwise to put this back on. So we're going to turn this clockwise to put the cap back on. Make sure that that's tight. Now when you go to use the saw, it's very simple. Let's put this battery back on for safety. Now we can reattach it like that. You hit the safety, you push in, and then again this doesn't come on because I didn't turn it on. So that's important to have that turned on right there. Now we push the safety in, and it comes on. Now you'll see the oil going on here, and you'll see it also when you're cutting the actual limb that you're cutting. Charging is very simple. They included the adapter. I want to point out that it has an ETL rating on there. That's a U.S. company. That's a sign that they tested the electrical components of this. And there's safety on here so that it won't overcharge or do anything damaging to the batteries. So I'm plugging it in. You can see the green LED comes on. On each battery there is a port right there. You can see it's a barrel connector. And you see the light immediately went to a yellow color. And that's telling me that it is charging. When that goes to green, then they are both fully charged. So while those two batteries are charging, let's go look at the pole right now, which is really nicely designed. So the first I want to show you, it has this slightly moving on a bushing, bushing. This is where that strap is going to go that allows you to get some additional leverage. And if you look here, this is where the battery is going to plug into. And then you have your safety button and your on off right there and a nice handle. As you move down, it has a really nice oversized rubberized holder that you can grab onto. And then on the end right here is where the actual chainsaw gets connected and that's where it's electrically being fed from that battery. So the battery is in the back and that switch sends that energy inside here through a connection to the end piece right here and it has a safety latch also this will not come off even if you swing this this will not allow the saw to come off and uh, this has full adjustments on here so you can turn this counterclockwise like that which loosens it and then this pulls out and what's really nice is that they put a spring mechanism on here so that it retracts but when you get to the position where you want it to be, then you could tighten this up and it'll stay in that position. So that's really nice. There's an internal spring on there, which is really cool. So here I'm going to plug the chainsaw, the Kevtech six inch chainsaw in right here, slide it in. And you hear that lock? That lets you know that it's on there and totally secure. On the other end, we're going to put the battery. I'm going to show you that next. So here's the opposite end and there's where the battery is going to go, slides in place and locks in just like that. 
Now once again I'm going to show you if you go to use this push the safety in and nothing happens. There's nothing wrong that's totally normal that's a safety backup system. Now you're going to go like that and it comes on with the digital status and now when I go back to that same thing I get the saw functioning perfectly. So this handle works really well. I mean, it's got a nice balanced weight to it also, which I really like. And here's where you attach the, hand, the uh, strap right here. Got a tension piece right there. And then again, I showed you it has nice cushioning and it is adjustable that you could adjust the height for what it is on your shoulder. So we have this border of trees in our backyard and the leaves tend to grow at different rates. The branches tend to grow at different rates. We're going to use this chainsaw to even up the trees in the backyard so it looks more like a hedgerow. Wow, I went through it real easy. So, so far, what do you think about this product? It's amazing. I can't believe how much it extends. Look at those tall branches. Here's another big branch that we can never reach. Wow. So the city only takes branches that are five feet or less. So we're going to use, use it to cut the branches down into smaller sizes. So what do I think about the Kebtech brand, their 2-in-1 6-inch cordless pull saw with that 700 watt brushless motor and those two 18 volt batteries. I'm really impressed with the quality of this product as I demonstrated. This thing worked perfectly to cut my branches and my trees and allows you to reach safely. And with the included strap, you're going to be safe doing this in the safety glasses, extra chain, brushless motor. This is a really nice product. I'm impressed with it. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.